RNA polymerase that carries out transcription in bacteria is in fact not one single protein, but a complex of five different proteins or five different um, polypeptides, also called subunits. This complex of the five subunits of the RNA polymerase is also called the polymerase holoenzyme complex. The alpha dimer and omega are involved in the assembly of this complex. The omega subunit is also involved in the regulation of gene expression which means it uh, deciding when a particular gene will be transcribed or not. The beta prime subunit is responsible for binding DNA and the sigma 70 which is a 70 kilo Dalton protein hence the name sigma 70 is the one that recognizes the promoter and finally the beta subunit is the one that has catalytic activity which is to say that beta subunit is the one that is carrying out the uh, chain elongation reaction of adding nucleoside triphosphates to the growing RNA chain. There are three phases of prokaryotic transcription. The first is initiation and initiation is when the polymerase holoenzyme complex assembles at the promoter and then the sigma factor is released and transcription can begin. The next phase of prokaryotic transcription is called elongation and this is when RNA polymerase unwinds the double helix and exposes the template DNA and carries out the chain elongation reaction to build the RNA molecule. Here is a view of transcription in action in an electron micrograph from a newt oocyte. So these long threads are DNA and the RNA polymerase is running along in this direction. And so, so here is the promoter and the transcription start site and the polymerase is transcribing in this direction and these threads that are growing from the DNA are RNA transcripts and you can see that as you go further down along the gene the length of the transcript increases. The other thing you notice is that there isn't just one thread hanging off the DNA but many many threads and what that tells us is that there isn't one polymerase transcribing this gene but actually a succession of polymerase polymerases running along the length of this gene and um, that is exactly how transcription works is that RNA polymerase uh, molecule will come and uh, find the promoter and then start transcribing and as soon as uh, this polymerase molecule has is on its way and is transcribing another molecule will come in and start transcribing. The third stage in uh, prokaryotic transcription is transcription termination. So we had talked about how in a transcript 
the start codon is not at the very starting of uh, at, at the very beginning of the transcript which is at plus one but a little bit afterwards and therefore this region of the transcript is not translated and is called an untranslated region or UTR and since transcripts are made 5 prime to 3 prime this untranslated region is on the 5 prime side and is called a 5 prime UTR just like the start codon is not at the very beginning of the transcript the stop codon is also not at the very end of the transcript but somewhere in the middle and therefore there is a region of the transcript which is now at the 3 prime end which is not translated and is therefore known as the 3 prime UTR or untranslated region now this 3 prime UTR contains signals that tell the polymerase that the transcript is ending and it's time to stop or terminate transcription the first such method or signal is called um, uh, intrinsic uh, termination and this um, 3 prime UTR contains uh, a sequence known as the terminative region which is about 40 base pairs long and the terminator region contains a, a sequence which is rich in C's and G's also called CG rich region followed by a bunch of uracils U's um, since um, um, C and G pair with each other a CG rich region will usually fold up and form a hairpin loop of this sort now these U's are base pairing with A's on the DNA template now recall that um, A and U's adenines and uracils have only two hydrogen bonds that um, holds the strands together and so these bonds are relatively weak and um, if you have a lot of uh, uh, A's that repeat um, you will have a region where the hydrogen bonding between the RNA and the, the, the new RNA strand that is being built and the template DNA is weak so when the polymerase reaches this region and encounters these weak bonds it tries to backtrack however because of this um, um, hairpin loop caused by the folding of the CG rich region the polymerase cannot backtrack and therefore is released from the DNA template to recap there is a CG rich region in the terminator a, um, uh, region which is in the 3 prime UTR that causes the formation of a hairpin loop in the RNA and this CG rich region is followed by um, a stretch of U's on the RNA and A's on, on the template DNA which is 
a region of relatively weak hydrogen bonding. When the polymerase reaches this region, it backtracks because of the weak hydrogen bonding, but is stopped by the hairpin loop, causing the release of the polymerase and termination of transcription. In a different mechanism of um, transcription termination in prokaryotes, the uh, terminator region contains a sequence that's rich in C's but poor in G's. And there is also a row utilization site. which recruits this protein called Rho. Now, when the polymerase reaches this part of the transcript, um, which is rich in C's and poor in G's, it pauses. And Rho is a helicase, so it has the ability to unwind the uh, uh, a double stranded nucleic acid and so rho travels down until it reaches the paused polymerase and unwinds the rna dna uh, duplex and releases the transcript thereby terminating transcription 